The ambassador's job requires access to the corridors of power, but the US president made it clear Sir Kim Darroch was no longer welcome in Washington. And in a TV debate, Boris Johnson, the man most likely to become Prime Minister, refused to confirm he would back him in his job. I will keep him until he's due to retire, okay. um, and I think we'd like to know if you would. Well, I, I'm not going to be so presumptuous. As Whatever the final straw, Sir Kim couldn't go on. In a letter to the head of the Foreign Office, he wrote, Since the leak of official documents from this embassy, there has been a great deal of speculation surrounding my position and the duration of my remaining term as ambassador. I want to put an end to that speculation. The current situation is making it impossible for me to carry out my role as I would like. The Prime Minister responded. Speaker, this morning I have spoken to Sir Kim Darroch. I have told him that it is a matter of great regret that he has felt it necessary to leave his position as ambassador in Washington. He had called Donald Trump incompetent, inept and insecure in leaked secret memos, a contrast to this friendly public meeting last month. But he was just doing his job, one former ambassador told me. His fury focused on the leaker. It is a breach of the Official Secrets Act. And I'm not alone in hoping very much that someone will go to jail for this because they deserve to. A point echoed by Boris Johnson on the campaign trail today. I think he is a superb diplomat and I worked with him for, for many years. And I think that whoever leaked his diptels really... Uh, has done a grave disservice to uh, our civil servants. Inevitably, this extraordinary episode is taking a political turn. In a direct aim at his rival, Jeremy Hunt tweeted, standing up for Britain means standing up for the finest diplomats in the world. And angry MPs say in not publicly backing Sir Kim, Boris sided with Donald Trump. Now, when Boris Johnson was selling Brexit to the British public, he sold it on the basis that we would regain our independence and restore our sense of national pride. We are not going to regain any independence or restore any sense of national pride if we become the poodle of the United States and the whims of its president. What is clear is that Sir Kim Darroch's resignation won't end this story. There is much more to find out about trust and loyalties.